Chop and Brews Monster Mash miniseries is brought to you with support from Imperial Yeast and all of our ghosts and ghouls over at Patreon. Join them in keeping the show spooky at patreon.com slash chop and brew. But the idea is like this is in a series of like four kind of Halloween horror movie themed beers. So, mm-hmm. and I love the description with the, with each shovel full of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Take another sip. We're here with Jamil Zanishev and we have got another Halloween spooktacular brew, Heretics Shallow Grave. It's just described as a rich, smooth porter. What kind of porter in the range of porters is it, Jamil? Yeah, like a robust porter, uh, an American robust porter. Um, you know, one of my favorite beers um, when I was home brewing uh, was uh, Deschutes uh, uh, Black Butte Porter. And I always liked, uh, you know, porters around that kind of around that range. And um, the original recipe for this, actually uh, Reagan Dillon at More Beer, uh, I went down there and um, I asked Chris Graham, I said, hey, yeah, I want to brew a porter. And uh, I was already brewing a porter, but I was like, yeah, I want to, I want to brew a better porter. And I asked him and he was like, let's go ask Reagan. Reagan loves porters and went and he just rattled off a recipe. and I started brewing that, and that was good. And a variation of that ended up in brewing classic styles because I won a lot of awards with that. And then when we started uh, brewing at Heretic, um, I wanted to do the, the porter, and we um, kind of tweaked it from the brewing classic styles recipe. We kind of simplified it, cut out some of the the uh, crystal malts, you know, just kind of uh, instead of you know, when, when, one of the things I tell people when you're trying to uh, replicate a commercial brewery recipe is figure out, you know, the batch size and then, you know, what fits in a sack. So when, when you're trying to, you know, work out the grist, it's like, they're not going to pour, you know, 54 pounds of something into, into a beer when it's 55 pounds in a sack, they're just going to throw that extra pound in there because, in the grand scheme of things, it makes a small change, you know, and it's fine. It'd be, so they work in like whole sacks and half sacks, some, some ingredients like maybe black patent malt, you'll, you'll weigh that out by the scoop and, you know, that'll be fine. But anything that approaches a sack is a sack, you know, you you don't want to just save little amounts laying around because it's a giant pain. So You're giving away made, secrets, man. You're giving yeah, away made, secrets. We made some adjustments to the recipe uh, for that. And that is the Black Widow Porter? Uh, yep, yep. I mean, as far as the reference to the book. Okay. Right, right. So this was one of your OG beers. That's pretty bold. I think most people don't know, or hopefully they know that we came to your brewery before it was even a brewery yes. 10 years ago. But they don't know that at one point, Chip Walton, in, in a very buzzed state, said, balls deep, fuck a pale ale, <laughs> D.D. Fappa. And that's over yes. some beers like this that you were talking about, like launching a brewery with in California in the early 20 teens. So how is this beer kind of like, A, I should point out, it's won some awards, GABF, World Beer Cup. But how has it stood up in the tap room? How does it stand up in your heart? Um, kind of, what do you think about this beer? Um, I love it still. I think it's a great porter, uh, and I and I really enjoy uh, you know just the the balance of it, and um, you know I think it's it's really good. Do you want the recipe for it? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a screen share? <laughs> Sure. Um, or do you just want to, yeah, just say just, it. Uh, so for 37 barrels of wort and a barrel being 31 U.S. gallons, 1,750 pounds of uh, base malt. And we use an American two row RAR, uh, 220 pounds of uh, Vireman Munich, 220 pounds of crisp uh, C45, 165 pounds of crisp chocolate malt. 
and 27.5 uh, pounds of crisp black malt. That's the current recipe for, uh, for that. Right now we're using uh, Pato uh, hops, 17.5% uh, alpha acid from Yakima Chief. We'll use 2.6 kilograms uh, in the, uh, the batch. And that's for, uh, makes about 35 to 37 barrels of work. Mash temperature is 157 Fahrenheit. Starting gravity is 16.5 Plato. The finishing gravity is uh, 4.1 Plato. Gives you an alcohol of about 7% ABV. Um, water treatments. The only thing we really do, we add uh, chalk um, in this. It's two, point, uh, two, two pounds, four ounces of chalk. And then we add phosphoric acid. And that's 75% phosphoric acid. We add one pound, eight ounces. And what other things you need to know? The uh, yeast is uh, uh, White Labs uh, 001 uh, California Ale Yeast. And we ferment that around um, 67 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, takes you, you know, about a week to ferment it out. And so not like it. an English strain, huh? No, um, I, I used to make... Uh, some of these English strains, but uh, for you know, Heretic, um, you know, 001 is, is, a, is a good yeast for that. Appreciate you sharing that. That's way more than I would. Like I said, like, oh, hey, let's let's do a, a series called Heretic's Recipes that we'll put out after <laughs> you leave. So, no, no, right. I, I, I've shared that recipe before with people. Oh, people good. email and ask for recipes. And, like okay, here you go. I just tell people it's like don't you know if you have your own brewery, just come up with your own recipes. You know, don't don't just take the recipes from somebody else. Try and you know you can take them as a starting point, but try and make something better. You know, try and improve what you're doing, and you know, try and be better than you know, another brewery. That's not what I always tell people. So I don't think I knew I was going to ask this. But as we talk about it, like Porter is actually kind of like IPA or pale ale, where it really has this range. It's more of an ascending order kind of range. Mm -hmm. But even with what you just said about um, black malts, Munich versus just more basey malts, like what's the beauty of Porter? Like how different can the lowest tier Porter, not lowest tier, the lowest, you know, impact to the highest impact porter be mm -hmm. like what's that range well that's that's the thing you know kind of a continuum of you know brown porter and you know uh, lower abv porters and then you kind of get up you know it's it's also side by side with stouts as well and you can get some porters that really have crossed the divide and ended up more as stouts um so you really kind of you know get that balance and there's porters out there that are, you know, around 4% that are really good. And this one's 7%. That's about as high as porters really go. Um, it's kind of outside of the um, approved ABV range of, of a traditional porter. Um, I appreciate that. Right. <laughs> it's just a, it's a little bit different. Um, so, you know, it just depends on, uh, you know, where, where you're, you're targeting, but you know, they can be lighter in color. And you know, more brown versus black, and then uh, you know they can get up into that black range, and you know, fuller and bigger. All right, y'all, brewing classic styles. Check out that Black Widow. Get out your notepad and rewind, and go back to when Jamil was throwing out the specs <laughs> for this beer because it is. I like it. It's kind of like you said. You feel, you feel the bigness of it, but it's also not. It's not like Gonzo Imperial Porter where he's just like, holy crap, everything is three times magnified. It's just a wonderful, big porter. Jamil, if you could explain Shallow Grave in four words to tempt someone to brew it, what would you say? <laughs> um, it's a good beer. Uh, uh, it's a good recipe. Oh, that's four words. It's a great recipe. 
Um, Porter is uh, a wonderful beer. Uh, I don't know. One at seven percent, it really is. It's that next level, kind of like you said. It's it's all things Porter, but if it's a cold, chilly night, or just the end of the night, or maybe the only beer of the night, it's got a little strength behind it to kind of push it through. You now have validation from some dude in his basement. <laughs> Aren't you proud? It's what what I always needed. Now every my life is complete. <laughs> I can I can die uh, in my sleep uh, peacefully now. Comfort and uh, knowledge that uh, you, Chip Walton, enjoyed my beer. Enjoyed my free can. <laughs> right. <laughs>